who really are the Masons or the Freemasons and where do they actually come from? I already told you in many of my videos and again once more in a condensed way in my last video that the first stone builders in Europe were the nobility. They were the first Masons in Europe. And with that, basically all has been said that has to be said. And theoretically, I can end this video. Or is there anyone amongst you who wants me to elaborate the issue a little bit more and prolong this video? Well, okay then, here we go again. A short guide through history on the first Masons in Europe's history. As Europeans have never been masoning before the arrival of Pharaoh's feudal stone builders in Europe, of Pharaoh's nobility massively masoning castles and cathedrals popping up everywhere all of a sudden around the year 1000, whereas the Europeans never ever have built in stone. The masters came all of a sudden in northern Europe after the ransacking of Rome by the Germanic tribes. And the masters started to build in stone, which was never seen before in Europe. Whereas the tribes were living in dirt huts with straw, earth and just a little bit of wood, just like the Indians or Africans. And simultaneously, a terrible terror was let loose over the Europeans for 2,000 years. You all see the pyramid down here, eh? Now, where did they get that idea from then, eh? And it all started with those murderous Romans under Pharaonic command, butchering and genociding the Europeans. Thus, the white race becoming the most terrorized race on the planet, enduring 2,000 years of incessant terror by Pharaoh's aristocracy. So, next to the pink list killers and the jaywalkers, I'll create another new word in the English language here, which I would like you to repeat and reuse, because there is no good expression in English to describe the connection in between bricklaying building castles and the ones responsible for it related to the masons and true descendants of pharaoh so the new english words are the verbs to mason for building in stone by the elite pharaohs and their stone mason stone builders and to masonate for being ruled by the Steinsees or stone builders. As Stein is the German word for stone, as in Jeffrey Epstein or Epstone, Larry Silverstein Stone, Brian Epstone Stein, Harvey Weinstone Stein, Bernard Weinstein Stone, and the rest of them Steinsees masonating us and masonating our children in masonating parties of pharaoh's elite like the royal house the aristocratic house of frankenstein frankenstein which really exists it's all connected to the aristocracy all this stein one cannot become a president prime minister senator or governor of a country if you're not a mason of pharaonic aristocratic descent ready to masonate us and our children impossible absolutely impossible and with masonating us they also mason an entire entirely airtight system around us with no more way out like us all locked up in one of their dungeons or an airtight system masoned around us with no more to breathe, creating CO2 under the mask, bringing CO2 into your organism, creating a lactic acidosis, as in the Swiss code O2T torture, through oxygen deprivation. 
possibly creating cancer through acidification of the body, which can be read here in the Zurich files. So this is the etymology of the word by our political leaders, the Masons, the political wing of the first masoning stone builders in Europe, who looked down upon the Europeans living in foxholes, partly in the earth, like animals. But they liked the European women, though, and making an alliance with them. Therefore, the war on the patriarchy and its sons, killing them by the millions, turning them into soy boys and pinkless killers, even wearing a bra, even in those days, eh? So, for the ones who haven't seen the previous film, I will glue parts of it, of it once more into this film, as it belongs together with the origins of the Masons. And so I don't have to do it all again in this video, because I don't want you to get masonated any longer. Now, what's the difference between the origins of the words Mason and the word Freemason? So the word Mason, I just explained to you, and they came before the Freemasons. So here we see the fortress at Bouhen, which was a pharaonic castle, uh, just like the castles they build in Europe, eh? so they really are the same ones, and this one is 4,000 years old. The word Bouhen, it probably comes out of Ba-on. Ba is the everlasting soul, and On is Osiris, the soul of Osiris. <clears throat> and so they, they were the first masons. When the Europeans, they were still living in tents and dirt huts and um, just like Indians or Africans, you know. And these already, they were doing mason work, as you can see here, 4,000 years ago, for which the Europeans still had to wait like three and a half thousand years to do this, or even more. Because the castles in Europe, they were not made by the Europeans. They were made by these ones here from Egypt, calling themselves the aristocracy, the duke and the counts, all these, these child rapists and, and pedophiles and women rapists and who made an alliance with our women. Those are the Masons. And this is why later on the Freemasons because they are from the same line, they call themselves the Freemasons, but which I'll explain to you now. But these are the Masons, which is it's a different thing from the beginning as the Freemasons, although the same word is being used for the same group of political people nowadays. So the latter one, the Freemasons, emerged out of the Knights Templars and came later in history than the Masons did, but are united in one single group today, Masons and Freemasons, all together. As the initial Masons and first stone builders, Steinzies in Europe, standing for the total feudality of the nobility, coming out of Pharaoh, and more or less standing for the old world order, feudal vertical rule of Pharaoh in Europe, it needed a whole new name, withholding the opposite for the Knights Templars of their new world order horizontal rule in this internal war inside Pharaoh's worldwide nobility, which I all explain in the video series The Swiss Beast home of the devil in three parts. The Knights Templars and their real reason for the Crusades needed to lay free the masonry of the pyramids in order to retrieve the pharaonic treasures of their ancestors and bring it all to Switzerland, Pharaoh's neutral Nazi base in the Alps. Therefore, the words free and Mason, Freemason, also for being the political opposition of Pharaoh's original political Masons of the vertical Old World Order, and the Knights Templars, in fact, being the notorious grave robbers of the pyramids, 
and royal sarcophaguses, laying the mason work free, free mason, in order to get the treasures out, free mason. And here you can see the uh, the Templars V, which on the the French car Citroën, you find the the Templar V on. No, on, a, on a lot of tanks and during the first Gulf War and all this, here they are, and this is what they here they laid the ma the masonry the mason free, the Knights Templars did. And that's why they took this as one of their symbols. You see, this this holds a lot of pressure. You know, that's why it's like a V here, and it's also ninety degrees, hey, eh? ninety degrees for the square. And you can see it again here. This is this is the entrance of the pyramids made by the Knights Templars. Now you can read it in Wikipedia. At least five of the original official Crusades, they went to Egypt. This was the aim of the Crusades. It was not at all Jerusalem or the Temple of Solomon. Uh, that was not the temple. The temple is in Troyes in France. The uh, the monastery of uh, Bernard de Clairvaux, that's the temple, and out of this came the the word the Templars. Has nothing to do with Jerusalem, but they passed through Jerusalem because that was already a stronghold in order to get into Egypt. And in Pharaoh's demotic word for Mason is Mason, in which Me Mer or Meru stands for pyramid in pharaoh's original language the demotic language and on meaning osiris altogether mess on meaning osiris his pyramid and therefore the masons concept of three and four for their tools to draw a pyramid with a square for the base with four corners of 90 degrees each and the compass for the side with three corners of 60, 60 and 60 degrees. Culminating in 3 plus 4 is 7. The pyramid's holy number represented by the G and seventh letter in the alphabet. Or 3, 2, 2 is also 7 altogether for the skull and bones Templar Nazi guys. And after university, I also translated the SS in the middle of the demotic word mes on, furthermore, which normally means Isis, as in demotic only the consonants are written, which is still a common use by all the cutting dicks in the Middle East, as both jaywalkers and the skirt wearers both write the consonants only in their languages. So mes on for Mason means the pyramid of Osiris and his wife Isis. So now, as Pharaoh's internal war has been settled, both Old World Order Masons and New World Order Freemasons all live in peace and harmony together for better achieving the main objective and to masonate the worldwide slave race. And I, Sean Ross, do not want to see my children getting masonated anymore, because Pharaoh believes that my kids are just normal slave children like the rest. So I have to liberate you all with this information and protect you all from getting masonated with that mess on Mason Osiris Isis pyramid up your asses. I hope this further information on the enemy within will help to set us all free from getting masonated. My hope is that the Germanic tribes will rise up and destroy today's Rome and its pharaohs once again. <laughs>